Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to my latest main Let's Play series, developed by Sting and published by Atlas. If you like playing JRPGs with kick-ass music, unique gameplay mechanics, and a plot full of war and political intrigue, then come and let's play Hexes Force on the Vance Path. I've already done the uh, LP for Cecilia's Path, so now we're going to go on to him. I've written a full text walkthrough for this game. It's up on GameFAQs there, so if you want to play ahead of me or find information that is, well, difficult to remember or something, well, that's over there. So uh, if you do want to play Hexus Force, uh, I would recommend not going for a hard copy because they're hideously expensive. There weren't that many copies of it. Uh, I would recommend downloading it on the PSP or Vita there. Uh, on the PSN, that is. Now, one of the unique things about Hexus Force is that you have two paths to choose from to start your game. You can either start with Cecilia on her path, it's a coming-of-age tale, or you can go with Levant's path, which is more about war and politics and all that good stuff. Kind of like Final Fantasy Tactics in a way. And I don't know if it's quite up to that level, but it's pretty good. But definitely more interesting than Cecilia's path as far as uh, the plot goes and characters and everything like that. So Now, one thing that I did... What, oh yeah, by the way, uh, both of these paths, while they do take place in the same world, uh, they have different uh, plot. Uh, treasure chests will have different stuff in them. Some may have unique side quests. Uh, dungeons will have different purposes. Like, you'll, like one dungeon, uh, Cecilia will go downstairs to find something, but on the Vance path, you'll go upstairs to find something. So you'll have different reasons to go there and different plot developments and things like that. Now anyway, uh, it, I've already done Cecilia's path, so what I'm going to be doing is a New Game Plus. Basically what that means is you start from a, a completed file on the other path and you automatically go into the one you haven't done yet. Uh, now, for this LP, even though it is a New Game Plus, I'm going to play it as close to a regular New Game as possible, so that way those who are playing Levant's Path first will be able to still follow along here. Uh, normally, uh, any Force Points you have left over from Cecilia's Path will carry over, so if you wanted to carry over like 100 grand, you could and just be obscenely overpowered, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, also, uh, titles and achievements will carry over, uh, your game time will carry over, so just some things to keep in mind there. So, let's take this file and see what happens. I got an achievement already, I didn't fall off my chair upon starting the game. No, no, uh, that is an achievement for beating the game, which, well, now we've got it, so... They're called titles in the game, though, but they're basically achievements that actually have a tangible value in the game! What a concept! So, we'll go over that more when we get to that. What is this? Ocarina of Time? Yeah, pretty much. Man, that's a lot of gods. Or, well, they're not gods, they're divinities, or whatever. You got three big ones. Okay, you have the goddess, Norvia. Then you've got the three main divinities. And then you have the twelve subordinates. Nuts. Well, better than a meteor crashing into the earth. Or, wait a minute, no, that, that's another game with holy... What do you mean, fell back into chaos? If everyone died, wouldn't everything be peaceful then? It doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. Sounds vulgar. Which people? Well, we'll find out. The forks. Use the forks! Who are you talking about? Ah, 
Hmm. What appointment? We made an appointment? Well, maybe our ancestors did it and didn't bother to tell us. I don't know. Argent, huh? I'd rather have the Black Lotus, though, not the Crimson Lotus. No. No, that's another game, viewers. So let's start Chapter 1. You would think a Holy Sword would be... Well, not a tragedy, a, a miracle or something. Are these the bad guys? Empires are never good. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. All those soldiers out there makes me feel safe. Gives me a warm and fuzzy feeling. Oh, yeah, why'd you have to build this huge tower here anyway? Uh, there's a very good reason to be afraid of heights. You kind of die when you fall from them. Of course the main character is afraid of heights. This is JRPG. What did you expect? Just don't get on a black chocobo, Axel. Or not Axel, uh, Levant. Ha ha. Hmm? Well, I just wanted to have some goddamn tea with you. No. Down the business. Can I get a raise? Oh, hey, I am going to get a raise. All right. I wonder how they pay you in this game, considering that there is no money in this game. That is one of the bizarre things about this game. There's no currency or buying equipment or anything like that. But it works. This... Uh, normally, I would hate that in a JRPG, but somehow they, they make it work in this game. I like that. Thank you. How old are we, anyway? I think I'm like 17 or 18, something like that. Ha ha. But of course, as we all know, teenagers are battle-hardened veterans in JRPGs. Absolutely. Where's all the six-year-olds to save the world, though? Oh. Hmm. Objection! No. No. Yeah, I'm the one in charge. You, like your friend Bon, are now mine. I mean, uh, you'll, uh, you'll be working for me. Well, yeah, we gotta kill them all. Yeah, if they just laid down and die, then everything would be great. Well, of course, we want to kill them because they're killing us. Oh, what do you mean, constituents? This is a monarchy. There's no vote. You don't vote for kings. Actually, he's an emperor, but yeah. How did he get to be an emperor at such a young age anyway? I think he's like 27, 28, something like that. He's pretty young for a guy in charge of this place, but I suppose back then people didn't live very long, so. Hey, how's it going? Oh, whoa. Hey, hey, what are you doing with her? What? what huh? You can't marry the enemy.
I mean, she doesn't even have a huge bust. No. No. I can't even tell with all those clothes on you. Well, they would immediately accept it. Hey, I'm the freaking emperor. I'm in charge around here. Oh. Yeah, everyone will just c c come around and accept it immediately. Yeah, we've been raised to be racist pricks, but, uh, yeah, main character, uh, yeah, we're, we're okay with it. That's cool. We'll just turn around in one second. What kind of project? Don't answer that, viewers. I'll do my best during this LP to not spoil things, since if you've seen the other LP, you can imagine... Well, you, you should know what happens, so... Well, I suppose you do have the political power to do it. Sounds like a plan. Whoa, hey. Don't need to pose for me, man. Getting a little uh, excited there. Well, this is what it takes to get a promotion. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. All right. I suppose I can endure you. Well, I'm glad things are working out here. I hope the marriage goes great for you, Axel. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Oh yeah, we got anime cutscenes here and everything too. Not too many, not so much that it bogs down the plot. I really like how they handled it here. Or well, in the game. Before the glorious warrior Ilnada, our lord his majesty, Axel Falken von Rosenbaum, and Princess Irene von Rosenbaum, I make a pledge to become the cerulean flame that banishes the dark, and to become the resilient shield that protects the people. Upon all my honor and my life, your majesty, Princess Irene, I swear. to protect the peace of our multicultural empire, including the Halbmensch. Huh? No, uh, what? Protect the Halbs? Is this guy nuts or something? What did he just Look say? up. <laughs> Levant von Schweitzer. At this time, in the name of the Rosenbaum Empire, I now dub thee Cerulean Knight. Do not ever shame your country, and above all, never lose your pride. Princess Cornelia, is that you? Yeah. And thus, I became an Imperial Knight of Rosenbaum. I was prepared to do everything to realize His Majesty's dream. When he said Axel Falcon, the first Soon thought... after the knighthood ceremony, we paid a visit to the Elven village under the orders of the Emperor. I thought he was going to say Axel Foley. But everything no. went as planned. His Majesty formed a pact with the Elven Patriarch, Semnel, and the engagement of the Emperor and Natchul was made official. Afterwards, there was a joyous reception. Well, everything seems to be working out great. Take this! Those 
Sergeant Bell! Someone murdered Lady Natchul. Nance. Your Majesty! You're not safe here! We must leave now, Your Majesty! Why? To break up their marriage? I don't know. Now you've just pissed him off. Where'd you get that helmet from? Hmm. I wonder who killed Natul anyway. Well, let's see if we can find out. Yeah, it must have been them. So, logically, they'd be ready for our attack? Well, that could take a while. There sure are a lot of them. And it's in a forest. I mean, heck, you brought all your guards with you, and you couldn't protect her that way either. Now that wasn't an achievement. Although usually in the game when you get achievements or unlock achievements, you uh you will get a noise like that. Too quiet. Maybe they're waiting to ambush you guys. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It is a forest. I would think heavy armor like that wouldn't really work that well against, like, bows and arrows and stuff. I mean, if I were in a forest, that's what I would do. Just hide in the trees and sharpshoot them one by one. One by one, Henry. Uh, isn't he a knight? Yeah, he gets his own theme music, too. That we didn't hear on Cecilia's path. Ha ha. Talking about the boss behind his back? No, uh, not nothing going on here. He was, uh thinking everything's a little suspicious around here, but that's a huge spike you got in that shoulder pad. Isn't that, like, dangerous to you? Or, like, maybe one of your fellow soldiers? Shadow? Hmm. I don't think they ever explained what that was. Maybe Levant was just being paranoid. Hmm? Is there another one? Hey, okay, let's go. Ah. Well, he has a real name, so he must be important. Remember him for later, viewers. Oh, at first I thought he said withdraw from the hoe. But, uh, no. R withdraw. Yeah, I guess we're going back. Where is our headquarters, anyway? I mean, they had that, uh, what is it? The Fort Falcon that we were just at, but, uh, hmm. But, yeah, that's pretty far from here. Maybe he meant return to base or something. Hmm. Yeah, that's odd. Maybe they withdrew from the forest to a safer location. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. It's probably nothing. Or we could have him come with us. That would be nice. Well, apparently so. Hmm. 
with bows and arrows, apparently. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, why wouldn't they? Hmm. Maybe they wanted him alive to uh, manipulate to doing what they really wanted him to do. Maybe they want us to go to war. Because they knew Axel would obviously declare war on them for killing his girlfriend. Well, we're going to kill them all anyway, so why not? Yeah, justice doesn't really mean a whole lot here. We, we don't have, like, courts or anything like that. We just kind of murder people indiscriminately. Yep. We could find who did kill her and kill him or her. Uh, I take an oath of loyalty to my values before that. Except the Cubs. I have unwavering loyalty to the Cubs. They're supposed to win next year, too, according to Back to the Future. They better. Let's take a look around. We can move around the map. We can even rotate the camera angle. I love how they let you do that in this game. That's just so huge for immersion for me compared to other... Well, compared to 2D RPGs. See, there's nothing to the left there. Oh, yeah, you press the select button. You can go into the map here. I'll go for... Or, well, if I didn't say so earlier, I'm going to go for a little bit of length on today's episode. Just so I can show you some of the bad mechanics a little bit, too. Hmm. Let's see, Ragna... Wait, what was that? Ragna Fact Altar. Okay. Well, let's take a look. Hmm. There's a little sword icon on there. That's the only thing I can read. Hmm? Take me now. Okay, if you insist. She made me do it. Or he, whoever's talking to me. So, you could just teleport me here at will, at any time. I'll remember this place for later, viewers. Ah, okay, so it is a she. I thought the vessel was the one who created all life. Well, whatever. We'll learn more about what the vessel is later. Is that not good? Covenant of Witches? I thought that's what a covenant was. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll take a look for them. Kind of reminds me of Dragon Warrior 2 a little bit. You must find your two cousins who are descendants of the legendary Erdrich. And they will join you. Watch out, one of them's a dog. Yeah, and, uh, well, no matter which path you start on, the vessel is tilting towards destruction because, yeah, we... Th that wouldn't be good. Yeah, we're, uh, yeah, because of all the bad things going on. Oh, uh, okay, sounds like a plan. I have no problem brutally murdering villains. Hey, hey! New sword. It's a pink sword. I like the color pink. That way, when it gets all bloody, it'll just kind of blend in a little bit. What do you mean by that? 
Why would you want us to? You're the one in charge. Isn't the cycle a good thing for you? Are you the one who killed the tool? Eh, she probably doesn't even know her. But anyway, now we have free access or to exploration. So first things first, let's take a look around. I'm hitting the X button to find some healing herbs. All right. So yeah, there's a hidden treasure there. So, and here we get a bandage orb. I'm actually gonna equip that on the vent right now. So that way he can use it. This is a spear effect, which has some durability on it. Basically, it's like three potions in one. So you equip that, you can use it in battle there. Yeah, the Vaughn's Path doesn't really get access to much healing, so you may want to hold on to those for him. If only there were an ability that would show us where all the hidden treasures are. Sadly, we have no such ability. But I'm going to show you where they all are anyway, because... Well, I know where they are. Let's see, it's around here somewhere. Aha! More healing herbs. wonder what all this trash loot is for anyway. Well, a lot of this stuff can be used for crafting throughout the game. So, uh, I'll, I'll go over crafting when we get the ability to do so. But now we got some new armor, so let's equip that. Headgear. Let's see, it increased our defense by five. Not bad, not bad. Well, let's keep taking a look around. I like how the game gives you some good stuff to craft, like, or, well, find like that, so you don't have to manually do everything, or craft everything. Okay, I think that's all the treasure here. Yeah, this place looks so colorful and vibrant. I like it. Kind of reminds me of Secret Romana, in a way. I was just playing that recently. Could use a different color other than green, though. Let's see. Okay, let's go over under here. Haha! -ha! Mistletoe! Alright. Now all you gotta do is bring Irene there. No. No. Hey, hey! Alright! Footwear! Let's see, we got that, so... Hmm. Yeah, the nice thing about footwear is that not only does it boost your defense, but it also boosts your agility, which, well, would make sense, considering... Uh, yeah, makes sense, because, uh... Uh, well, I mean, it's footwear. Obviously, better shoes will let you run a little faster. But anyway, that's a save point there. You just walk up to it, press the X button, you save your game. Normally, there'd be a little tutorial about that there, but since I'm playing on a new game plus, they pretty much skip all the tutorial stuff. Uh-oh. That's danger music. Let's take him on. Okay. Can we win? Ow. Now, in battle, you see you got a turn cue on the right there, kind of like Final Fantasy X. So, all we got right now is the spear effect, the knight sword. So, let's give that a try. Whoa! Nice. That didn't work so well. Let's try that again. What the? These guys are hard as steel. I got only one more shot. Nice. Whatever shall we do? Well, let's see. That didn't work out so well. My penis is glowing. No, no. Let me show you my real sword. Ah. Well, yeah, you kind of told us that before. Hey, hey, all right. Okay, now let's really take him on. Now, one thing I want to show you guys here is the aspect system. 
Now when you attack an enemy, you see on the right there where there's a circle? That means that I am neutral against that aspect. If you see an X, that means your attack is weak against them. And if you see a circle within a circle, or, well, a small circle within the larger circle, that means they are weak to you. So, you want to look out for that. Certain attacks also have That's elements it. to them. But uh, we'll go over that when that becomes more How important. invigorating. And you can win items from battle. All right. Uh, yeah, by the way, those aspects that I was talking about with the circle and the axe and all that stuff, uh, that's aspect weakness. That is separate from elemental weaknesses. In fact, they stack on top of each other. So if you know how to take advantage of that, you can really uh, become overpowered. Who's there? What are those things you're carrying anyway? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know, viewers. Hmm? Uh, apparently, that's what the uh, lady in the... was saying. In the holy light, or whatever. Oh. Well, then I guess you got the wrong guy. Apparently. You ever heard, seen her before? Hmm. Apparently not. Guess they're not working together or something. Oh. Nuts. Why would you destroy the model? Well, you'll learn more about that on Cecilia's path. We don't learn so much about that on Levant's path. So. It's bad. Let's just put it that way. Whoa. What is that? Hexes anyway. We are kind of talking about that earlier, but... Well, I don't know. Because she's just a little girl? Why would you want me to subjugate them? I'd be happy to subjugate you! And have my way with you. Oh. Nuts. Well, what do you mean by that? Boss time! That's what she means. Careful, everyone. How about this? Yeah, kick ass! I love the music for this battle. Now, you see in the upper left where our force burst gauge is full? That's basically our limit breaks of the game. So you go down to burst, you got blitz assault. Let's use that on her. Even though she's strong against it, we should still do a lot of damage. Yeah, look at that damage. Holy cow. I may need to heal myself eventually, but for now, let's keep on going with Gust Thrust. Whoa. Uh, can I survive? Yeah, I can survive another hit. Yeah! Got her! You actually don't need to uh, kill her or win this battle to uh, progress with the plot. If you lose, you'll just move on anyway, and she'll be like, ha, ha I'm gonna leave you alive for no reason or something. I don't know. But it's a good idea to win so you can get the experience and all that. And also, you might have noticed when uh, Levant gained a level, then uh, you get your HP and RP restored. I suppose I kind of skipped over that. Uh, RP is basically the MP of the game. Whenever you use a Ragnifact, you'll use RP in order to use your abilities and such. Ha ha. Uh, teleport away? Whoa. What is this, tentacle porn? No. No. Well, at least we made her run away. I thought my name was Levant. Why does everyone call him Leon? Instead of Levant. And I guess that's... Is it like short or a nickname or something? I guess. I don't know. What's going on? Nuts. Ah, oh, well. Good. 
then why bother sending all the soldiers in here? Oh, wait, we're all still in here! Danger music! Huh. That's not good. Yeah, we gotta get out of here! Uh, well, yeah, we're gonna change them to being dead now. Okay, so, first things first. We wanna walk up here. This is what's called a harvest point. Basically, you walk up to it, you uh, look into it, and or you press the X button, and you get some crafting materials from it. So, you'll find those periodically. It's kind of like uh, herbalism in World of Warcraft. Or I suppose I got something similar in Dragon Quest IX, but it's been a while since I played that one. Here we get the Wind Ring. So, okay, so now what I want to do, we got some force points, which is basically our ability point of the game. So, uh, we want to spend those. So what I'm going to do, let's uh, remove this by pressing the square button. I don't think we'll need them, but you may want to hold on to one of them, but... Well, I think I know what I'm doing. Let's see... Oh, sorry, I went through that a little quickly there, but if you press the square button, you can convert an item into force point, which I think is more valuable than the effect of the item itself. So, let's do that. Um, yeah. And then I want to dump all my force points into the attack power of my Holy Cravanda. Basically, this is how you learn new abilities, increase your attack power, and such throughout the game there. So for now, let's just do that. So you press the X button, you raise your attack power. You don't actually buy weapons in the game to get stronger weapons. You just have your Ragnifax, and then you uh, you would, uh, dump it into there, and you increase their power over the course of the game like that. Oh, by the way, as far as uh, abilities go, let's see. There we are. Yeah, you see where it says RPUs? That tells you... Well, how much you need in order to use an ability. Even the most basic attacks require one RP. So, but don't worry about that. You'll never run out of RP and get to the point where you just can't do anything. If you do, though, you could just use a defend, and that'll recharge a, a few RP so you can still do something. So, I like how they handled that in the game. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Oh, yeah, apparently so. Well, let's see what I can do against these two. Let's go... Yeah, let's attack uh, the evil wisp there. Haha! -ha! Nice. Yeah, as you saw on the right there, the evil wisp was weak to the aspect of the Holy Cravanda. And we see because I've dumped all my attack or force points into my attack of the Holy Cravando, we're doing pretty good there. Well, yeah, you guys were trying to kill us. What do you mean by that? Oh. Are you tired of the force? That's strange. No, that couldn't possibly be true. Yeah, what is going on here? Can we find the tools assassin? Can we get out of here in time? Find out next time on Let's Play Hexes Force. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.